welcome to a productive day in my life and I'm proclaiming that right now because today has to be a productive day. I have no option but to be productive. And that's usually how it goes, you know what I mean? Like you kind of just put off everything important until the absolute last minute. You might be able to hear it in my voice. I am slightly sick. I'm just finally recovering. Every time I see my mom, I get really sick. I don't know if my mom is like carrying around a disease with her, but like be weary. Don't give her a hug because I get sick every single time. It could just be a coincidence. I try to do a lot when she's here. Work has been crazy. So there's just been like a lot, right? <laughs> Me getting sick very well could have just been my body being like, mm, it's time to slow down for two days. I still can't hear, so if I'm talking really loud, I'm sorry. And if I'm not talking loud, I'm also sorry. Ever since I got off the plane from LA, my ears have not unplugged. I've taken a COVID test, it's not COVID. I think it's just one of those things we have to power through. Because I was sick, I put off so much stuff until today. So my to-do list is kind of lengthy. I'm actually doing something fun. I need to go get a driver's license. I need to go get a Florida driver's license. We have to go to the DMV, baby. <laughs> I also have to take some pictures for Reebok. I need to go to the post office to confirm my change of address. I really need to call the passport people because I have indeed lost my passport and I'm supposed to go to Jamaica in July without a passport. You stupid. It's like send help. Let me know the best way for me to get a passport like ASAP. Hold on. Getting out of bed. I also need to find a psychiatrist here ASAP. My old one can't prescribe medicine in Florida. Wake up! Wake up! Can we have a new house rule? No fetch before 9 a.m. No way! <laughs> I don't want to make my bed but I'm gonna try and be a good human. I got so behind on YouTube videos. Not because I don't love you. I just have never had so much to do between moving and people like actually wanting content from me before. Ugh! I don't like making my bed. Apparently it's a really good habit to get into, so. <laughs> Today's actually my first like normal day here. When my mom was here, that just felt like a vacation. I really wasn't focused on like getting my house together. And then I went to LA and I didn't get back from LA until Thursday night and I was super sick. That whole time difference is so weird to me because like I left at 10 in the morning and I didn't get to Tampa until 7 p.m. The whole time difference is just so weird. I was so sick that I got picked up, took NyQuil at 7.30 p.m., went to sleep, didn't wake up till noon the next day and then came back to my apartment and like slept. Today is Monday, meaning today is a good example of what my life's gonna look like. In Florida. Round two. And waking up to this view, I will say I don't know why these windows get all foggy. I wish they didn't. It goes away, but like in the morning I just want to see it as I look out my window. But you can't win them all. Made my bed this morning. I mean it's not the cutest, but it's something. Hi, how are you? Okay, everybody, a quick little pause in this vlog to say a big thank you to the sponsor of this video. You want to tell them? <laughs> Earth Breeze! I know it's hard to understand Kat, but she said it. If you're watching this and you're like, What's Earth Breeze? I have no idea. Please, Sam, tell me. Okay, <laughs> you don't have to ask again. Let's get into it. Earth Breeze got rid of everything wrong with old-fashioned laundry detergent. The first being heavy, wasteful plastic jugs. Not only do they take up a ton of space, but also, don't you care about the planet? Do you really need all of those plastic jugs? 91% of laundry jugs don't get recycled and end up in landfills. And 700 million detergent jugs enter landfills and oceans every year from the USA alone. We can do better. And the second is having to lug those jugs home from the store. I'm a little bit lazy. Or just running out of detergent altogether. Their powerful eco sheets look like dryer sheets, but they are not. It's a revolutionary liquidless laundry detergent that dissolves 100% in hot or cold water in any type of cycle or machine, including HE. It's easy to use, there's no measuring, no heavy lifting, and no mess. If Samantha Joe can do it, you can too. All you gotta do is toss them in. The packaging is compact, biodegradable, and plastic free. Their flexible subscriptions can be self-managed so that you can adjust, pause, or cancel anytime without penalty, hidden fees, or extras. It's delivered right to your door for free via carbon neutral shipping in an easy to store lightweight package. It's great for all laundry lifestyles, including sensitive skin. That's me. I have really sensitive skin. Their eco sheets are hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested. And there's even a fragrance free option. They have a 100% satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. They're not going to ask any questions and no returns are necessary. But most importantly, Earth Breeze is tough on stains and removes odor. So you still get a powerful clean every single time. There's literally no reason not to switch. If you want to check them out, click the link in my description box or go to earthbreeze.com backslash Samantha to get started with 40% off your eco sheets. Once again, a huge thank you to Earthbreeze for not only helping my sensitive skin and keeping my clothes clean, but also for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. 
I was trying to show you guys the sunflowers that I got at the market, but they look all wimpy. Definitely reminds you of your least favorite ex-boyfriend. What is that? What am I doing wrong? I don't know. I'm hungry. Breakfast. Look at like this whole bucket of healthy food. I got this from the farmer's market. I could make some eggs. Lemon for some water. I'm also going to try one of these oranges. I forget what they're called, but it said very sweet. And I love sweet oranges. So, also. Oh my god, no way. This reminds you of your favorite ex-boyfriend. Forget that I said anything. That was not, not a funny joke. Bad joke, Samantha. Watermelon. I'm a big breakfast girl. I'm pretty sure this is mint. I can put some in my water. Eggs. Okay. Wait, is this the first meal we're cooking in here? I mean, I did make Kraft mac and cheese, but I don't think that really counts. But every time I walk up to the stove, there is a timer button right here in the corner, and I hit it. And by I hit it, I mean my Koopa hits it. It's just not it. <gasps> so wait, hello? Hi. Hmm. Wait, did that just did that just pop? Maybe I'm just getting used to it. See? While I was moving, I was not following any type of diet whatsoever. I don't do well with stress. And the last thing I think about when I'm stressed out is cooking. I have been craving routine again. That's what we're gonna get back to. I'm also gonna try to stop like lathering everything I eat with cheese. Pro tip, if you're like me and you didn't grow up with home cooked food, season it. You might think that's like self-explanatory. Maybe for some people that is self-explanatory. For me, it wasn't. I just wasn't seasoning my food and I didn't like the way anything would taste when I would cook it myself. Obviously, honey, there's no seasonings on it. Also, I will figure out the lighting. What if I close this? And you can kind of change the way your food tastes just depending on how you're feeling that day. We have some garlic powder, onion powder. Lori's is the yeah! best. I spilled salt. I unfortunately have officially said I can't do excess caffeine. If I go to Starbucks or something, I might order decaf lattes. Although I've noticed coffee doesn't do it to me as much as my Lonnie's. Any type of like energy drink really triggers my anxiety. I haven't had bad anxiety in like a couple weeks, but I haven't been drinking like caffeine other than coffee here or there. I had an Alani yesterday on the way to the movies. For that entire movie, I was unwell. I could not fall asleep last night, just thinking of everything that could possibly go wrong in my life. And the only thing that I did different yesterday was have an Alani, which just sucks because I love them. And like the energy it gives me in the beginning is so good. I just don't think it's worth the effects afterwards. I'm just trying to like girth up my food and not make it look as basic. I turned 25 this year. Honestly, I've been kind of spiraling about it. Uncontrollably spiral. I know 25 is literally not old at all. You can rent a rental car without a young driver's fee at 25. In my brain, that's when you stop getting like, oh, I'm young, I didn't know better. That's when that excuse goes away. I don't know how I feel about that, but you know what? I'm ready for the challenge. This is actually a lot of peppers for the amount of eggs that I'm having, but I need some type of nutritional value. I've been having fast food. I also wanted to try and put garlic in there. Is that weird? My potatoes are probably burning so bad. I used to not cook down my peppers before I would put them in my eggs, and then I would never really like them in my eggs, and then I realized I was just doing it wrong. Oh. Now I'm gonna take some eggs. Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Egg in the pan and then you mix it all up. Colorful. Go ahead and put my hash browns back in. Look, it's like a little mash. I don't have any hot sauce. I know I just said I'm trying to not drown everything in cheese. Then again, our goal is to just get back on track with not eating like processed foods and just cooking for ourselves. Or if I am gonna get food out like at a restaurant, oh, like Soho Juice Co. would be so good. Maybe I'll treat myself to that. But it's like not processed, you know what I mean? So this is the first part of breakfast. I mentioned I'm a feaster and I meant it. A little bit of cucumber. How many mint leaves do you put in? This should last me until next weekend, right? How do people cut up lemons in cute little shapes? <gasps> I figured it out. There. What is that? Same for the lime. That's already Duncan. You had to fart while I made breakfast? This actually is enough for two breakfasts. I just unknowingly meal prep. Is it weird if I put this on the same plate? <laughs> This is peeling so easy. I wish I remembered what these oranges were called. Do any of you guys know? I'm gonna put a couple slices in my water too. I didn't even try it yet. Taste test. Yes! Wait, that's so good. I'm gonna force myself to drink this big old glass of water this morning. 
My water dispenser's in my fridge. Refreshing. Breakfast. Proud of myself for this actually because I have not been cooking my own meals. Let's get ready to go to the DMV. I really don't want to do it. I had all of the time in the world to get ready and somehow I'm almost late. I have four minutes to spare. This is what I came up with. Hair and makeup wise. I don't even freaking know. Okay, I threw on clothes. I didn't have time to think about them anymore. I think this has everything that I need. But like, how do I get a new license plate? Like, how do I? I have so many questions. I can do this. I can do this. I'm at the DMV. It does say tax collector. I'm confused, but apparently it's also the DMV. I don't know. Wish me luck. This picture could not be worse than my old one. One eternity later. I really needed to eat something. I may or may not have gotten a couple of things at the mall. For some reason, I didn't use the bathroom when I was inside, and now I'm just like, here, like shaking my legs. I have to pee so bad. I have to drive all the way back to St. Pete. I'm currently in Tampa. And then I need to see if I can pick up my prescription really quick. I went to Soho Juice Co, by the way, and I get Cloud 9 with like a bunch of stuff on it. Oh, I hate that my ears are plugged because I can hear myself chew inside my head. I don't like it. I'm so ready to go home. One mission, one channel, and one more thing. One million subscribers. You may have started with just a few viewers, but your voice, passion, and creativity have now touched the lives of people around the world. And the community you've built is enriched by the stories you've shared as you bring people together. I didn't think it was that deep. To honor this milestone, we're proud to present you with the Gold Creator Award. We hope this special recognition will remind you how much you mean to so many. Every day you are redefining Read the room, Duncan. This is my moment. Every day you are redefining how content is created and watched. One voice and one video at a time. It's a privilege to be a part of your journey. We can't wait to see what you do next. Ta-da! <laughs> That's so weird. Rick packaged my order. Who's Rick? I don't know. I am in disbelief that this is in my hands. And it's so much more gold than I expected. Presented to Samantha Joe for passing 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Do I just like take it everywhere now? Where should I hang it up? I take a picture, everybody. What's the graduation song? Here, hold on. I present this to Samantha Joe for being the most successful human to ever grace the internet with her presence. Oh, Duncan. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks, I guess.